Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2018 Lexus LS F Sport sedan. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. All right, so, you know, I kind of forgot about Lexus for a bunch of reasons, but man, they're back on my radar. I've always liked the LS. When it got to about the F4, when it got to the LS 460, I don't remember what year the LS 460 came out. I want to say somewhere around 2007 or 8, somewhere the 460, because before that there was the 430, and then there was the 400 when it first came out. Now we're up at the 500, and this 2018 Lexus LS 500 is all new for 2018. Let's scroll down a little bit. You're probably tired of looking at that, and I'm tired of looking at it too. All right, let's get rid of that. We don't need the opt-in form. Um, okay, so car's all new, looking quite slick. It's got a new model designation or a new number. It's a 500 now. Let's look at some photos. Kind of looks a little more. Uh, it's the I don't know. It's squatted down. The the roof looks lower. I don't know. It kind of looks like a Toyota Camry, but I still like it. <laughs> I did do a Toyota Camry. I'm gonna put a link. Okay, I'm gonna put a link up. I also, this car, as you know, comp I've already looked at this page, and they are smacking Mercedes S-Class all up in the face. And so this car is all about that car, competing with it head-to-head. -head. I also did the Mercedes S560 with the AMG kit on it. I'm going to put a link up to that as well, all right? All right, let's get some more angles in here. Yep, okay, that looks good. Let's look at some photo or some colors. So this, what color is that? That is liquid platinum. This one is, uh, let's get a better shot. Okay, let's go maybe to there. There we go. Uh, that's white pearl, liquid platinum, atomic silver. That's kind of nice. I like that. Uh, manganese luster. Okay, they could have come up with something else. Caviar. Uh, obsidian. Uh, red mica, mica. Uh, autumn shimmer. That's interesting. And nightfall mica. The blue. All right, those are interesting colors. Here, let me tell you something. So here we are. The car starts at seventy-five thousand dollars for the rear-wheel drive. Throw three grand on it and change to make it all-wheel drive. Four sixteen horse, zero to sixty is respectable. Highway is, you know, it's respectable. Here's the deal. Let me give you some pros and cons real for real fast. Here's some pros. The car's got library quiet. It's library quiet at all speeds on all roads. All right. The ride quality remains soft, supple, and impervious to bad asphalt. Uh, another one is interior features are world-class, build quality, and artful materials. All right, interior features, world-class, build quality, and artful materials. Uh, the cons, though, are it's a touch-based infotainment. is clever but distracting on the road. It accelerates quick for its size, but the pedal response feels slow and numb. And the general lack of sportiness... Uh, seeds uh, sportiness uh, seeds advantage to some uh, rivals, so it's it's not as sporty as the S class or maybe the Seven series. But that's why we're going to do the F Sport, and I think the F Sport is sporty enough. Okay, I think that the F Sport is sporty enough. I think that it has enough horsepower, and I think it looks pretty good, especially the F Sport trim. It looks really really nice. All right, so uh, let's finish this page. Um, let's see, learn more. What do we got to say here? So these guys are saying that this car has better evasive action and emergency double lane change performance on wet or dry payment than the uh, 2018 S560 AMG. That's the model that I that I did build a, did a build in price on. So I'm gonna you got the link to that. So you need to make sure you watch that. This is by the AMCI testing certified whoever that is. We don't even know who that is. Who else has talked about that place? We don't know who they are. Car and driver says. Uh, if God is in the details, and the new fifth generation 28 is packed with supernatural punch. So these are all the accolades, if I'm saying that correct, um, from around uh, from around automotive, right? Look at that. Pretty powerful statements. I think those are pretty powerful statements. Here's a video of them going head to head with the Mercedes S560 uh, with the AMG Sport kit. This is surely the, there. You go, the LSF Sport. That's the one we're going to be building and pricing right now. Let's check out um, let's check out some images real fast. That's beautiful. What is this whole thing up here that that's raising? I know it's got something to do with a heads-up display, but that's a lot. Of, that's substantial. 
It's just kind of interesting. Um, we're not going to watch a video. I don't want to do that. It's got surround sound. I'm kind of skipping fast through ones that are going to show us a video. That back seat is a very nice place to be. I think Lexus, look at that. You can see an infotainment or a command center right in there. You can kind of see it. I think Lexus has definitely taken, knocked their game up several notches, which is why they got the Mercedes Benz right on the sales page. Here's how you know they're very confident in, to, about their car. They would not be showing this car. <laughs> the car, this car, their top competitor would not be on the home page if they weren't sure that this car was better at every metric that probably matters to its buyers because it also knows its buyer. Um, let's see. We're not going to do that. Let's go to uh, features. Let's see what features that this LS has. Um, the craftsmanship is gorgeous. The veneers, the design is very gorgeous. It's very, very nice. It's, it's, it's definitely out of their comfort zone, all right, for sure. I'm not going to read everything on this page. I want to just say that now before we get too far into it. If there's something you want to read and I'm not doing it, make sure that you pause the video and read through that real quick, real fast, and you can just unpause it. We can keep going. Um, so I'm just going to kind of talk about highlights. So the car's got uh, the first ever twin turbo. Oh, it's got a twin turbo motor. Twin turbo motor paired to their first ever 10-speed automatic transmission. Sporty Spice. Sporty Spice. You know in the aftermarket, in the tuner world, they're going to go crazy with this car now that it's turbocharged. This car is going to be making 600 horsepower in the aftermarket world. Watch. Uh, the first multi-stage hybrid, right? We're not really into that. Exhilarating handling, low center of gravity, next generation adaptive variable suspension, pushes performance, blah, blah, blah. Executive class seating. I, I'm definitely with you on that. The headlights are interesting. Striking LED headlamps. Tail lamps embody the ideal balance of sophistication and safety. Ooh, I like it in red. Look at the F-Sport. Let's take a closer look at that. That is just... Mm. That's, oh, look at that. Those are like little stalks where you can turn for information. And surely there's probably a heads-up display that throws some information up on that screen. We'll find out. But at this price point and at the way the game is, you know it's got heads-up. You know it does. It's got to. Um, next generation uh, Levinson uh, sound system. They always do the Mark Levinson. They have for like a long time. I know the 460s had it. Maybe the 430s had it. If you're a Lexus aficionado, maybe you can tell me. Leave a comment below. But they're always, they've are always they always stuck with these guys, and I bet you this sound system is the best one yet. I have no doubt. Um, what do we got here? With Lexus Inform, that's their proprietary system. Uh, you've got all your infotainment in there. There's your Yelp and Pandora, iHeartRadio. So far, we haven't seen anything about Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. But hopefully that's in there. We'll, we'll get around to some specs and all that. From a precision-crafted steering wheel to available adaptive variable air suspension, this car envelops uh, you in personalized comfort. Yes, gosh, look at that. Look at that. You know, I, I've always loved the German cars, but they, and they're, they're, as, they're, they're as good as they, they've ever been, okay? Mercedes is on their game, and so is BMW, but... I'm looking to do something new. I like I like the Lexus. I like the Cadillac. I like the Cadillac. You got to check out if you're looking at these cars and these are a hundred ish thousand dollars. You got to take a look at the Cadillac CT6. I've also done that car. Let me throw a link up to that. It's in all fairness. You got to check that out too. T O O as in also. The CT6 Platinum is pretty cool. Now, now these cars are other game, but the Cadillac's still cool. It's worth checking out. All right, so we kind of looked through those photos already. We just wanted to kind of check that out. This was about, what, the Lexus Safety System Plus A? I don't even know what that is. It's brand new, so debuting now. The available systems offer the most advanced safety technology yet. So they didn't tell us anything about it. They're just telling us that it's the best, but we don't know anything. Uh, exceptional service experience. I'm always about that. That's one thing. I just got done saying that, you know, I'm ready to do something new as far as cars are concerned. But the one thing, the experience, when you take your car in for service at Mercedes or BMW, I've had both and I've multiple times, the service is always awesome. You get a loaner. You don't have to, like, pay for that. It's awesome. It's awesome. I don't know if that's ever going to change, but at the time of this video, that's the way it's been, okay? 
Um, all right, so we kind of went over the features. Let's go to the top and see what else there is. Let's go over to specs. Let's check through specs, and then we'll do the build. All right, so, oh, it's a V6 twin turbo. Okay, so it's going to get really good gas mileage. V6 twin turbo, 3.5 liter, 416 horse. Rear-wheel drive is your standard trim. Okay, uh, all-wheel drive is 78.2. The one we're going to be building out. Let's take a look at that. Let's get a little more specific. Here we go. All right, F-Sport. Gives you the same motor, and I'm fine with that because at the end of the day, I'm kind of past the whole – I still like it, mind you, but I'm kind of past the whole got to have the big horsepower thing because at the end of the day, dang, you can't even drive fast. The roads are so congested. All you're about is trying to look good, and it's little bursts of energy, and that's, that's enough energy to get you bursting where you need to go. All right, so let's learn a little bit more about it. Valve train, four cams, four valves a cylinder, variable valve timing, all that good stuff. Um, it's a certified ultra low emission vehicle. It's got a basically 10 and a half to one compression. It's making, see, now that it's turbo, now that it's turbo, see, this car, the ball game is about to change now. Now that it's turbo, it's making fat torque. And look at that, it's making it 1600 RPMs all the way up to almost 5,000. I mean, this car is making torque all day. All day. You know what I'm saying? All day. Uh, <clears throat> and with good gas mileage to boot. Basically almost 20 miles in the city. 30 on the highway. 23 mixed. Car is tight. The car is tight. 0 to 64.6. That's fast enough. That's the whole thing. It's like every car now, everything is 3 point this and all this horsepower. Nobody can do anything with it. You can't do anything with any of that horsepower. We all know it. You're only buying that horsepower just to say that you have that car with that horsepower. Or for me, I always like the AMG cars because I like the kit. But you can get it without the kit. But, you know, anyway. Turning circle, aerodynamic coefficient of drag, top speed, 136. Uh, that might, I wonder if that's governor limited. I wonder if that's computer limited. Uh, here's a look at the chassis. Okay, looks pretty cool. It looks like a true dual exhaust. The car's a true tool, a dual exhaust as well. It's not a fake like a lot of them. Um, so the brakes, opposed six piston mono blocks. Like I said, I'm not reading everything. So if you want to catch everything, you want to make sure that you pause. This is all the meat right here. Here's the 20 inch wheels. It's got 275s on the back, 245s up front. All right, it's got the available F Sport tuned uh, height adjustable uh, air suspension, um, variable uh, suspension up front. What else we got? The variable steering. Uh, here's that 10 speed tranny. Here's uh, rear-wheel drive. Okay, here's the length. It's 206. So it's the same size as a Mercedes because a Mercedes is 206 point something. So, I mean, gosh, they've they they, they, they <clears throat> they've nailed the car in every dimension. I mean, they're squarely looking at that car square in the face, right? That's the car they want to fight. Um, hip room, good hip room. What's the shoulder room? Adequate shoulder room, Mercedes is bigger. I already know that because I know that the, I, used, I love Mercedes and I, I used to want the... S550, like a 2008 or 2009, those are still great cars, by the way. And I know the shoulder room on those are like 59 point something, and so I know the new ones are just as big. So, But it's it's big enough. It's still big. Look at that fuel tank, 22 gallons. It's big. All right, let's go over to the building price. Let's check out the building price. Okay. All right, so we know that we are going to do the F-Sport. Right, featuring F Sport front fascia, mesh grill, LFA inspired gauges, bolstered sport seats. Do you know what an LFA is? If you don't know what an LFA is, let me throw up a photo because I know how to do that now. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do the uh, we're doing the F Sport. Uh, we already went over that. It's got the LFA inspired gauges, the gauge cluster, bolstered sport seats, aluminum pedals. Their most advanced vehicle dynamic control system. This car's hot. It's $84,000. Man, is it better than the Cadillac CT6? Maybe. Right, but the Cadillac CT6, they're getting ready to come out with a V-Sport. Okay, guess what? I did that video too. T-O-O -O as an also. Let's check it out. Hang on. Let me put up a link. Okay, we're doing ours in all-wheel drive. Let's get into it. Okay. Colors. What colors do we like? So these are the available with select option colors. This was the what color? This is that pearl, and I like that. This exterior color is not available with your previous selections. Well, I don't know what my previous selection start a new bill. Oh, you can't get that car in white. Okay, well, never mind. I don't want it in white then. That's fine. Uh, or that particular color of white. 
ultra white. So you can get an ultra white. You can't get it in the in that pearly color or whatever. Okay, ultra white. Uh, obsidian. I don't think that car is a good black car. That's not a black car to me. Is it a red car? I think it's a little big for that. I don't like the name, but I do like the color. The car certainly looks like a Camry. They uh, they squatted it down. It looks more Camry, but it's still it's still cool. This car, Atomic Silver, looks more gold to me. I don't know. What about what do you think? Um, dang. I'm not feeling any of the colors, to be honest with you. That's what's taking so long. Give me the, give me the, I think the white's too white. I think the red is interesting, but no. Let's do the manganese luster. Let's do the manganese luster, okay? And then let's go to the interior. Ooh, that looks good. Let's get, let's, wow, that looks really nice. That's good looking. Mm, do we want to do that manganese with red? Let's, let me look at that exterior color. Oh, yeah, we do. We do. We do. Yeah, we're going to do the manganese with red. Oh, FYI, this is the time for me to mention that um, you could save these build summaries. I think you can with Lexus. I've only done one other Lexus. Uh, oh, I've done another Lexus. I did the uh, GSF. I did the Lexus GSF. I've done a lot of stuff. That's why you need to be following my channel because I, I get down like that. I did the Lexus GSF, and so you want to make sure that you take a look at the Lexus GSF as well. All right, I'm going to put a link up to that. Uh, so we like the red, and I don't know if uh, if I can download the build summary, but if I can, the PDF, then I'm going to attach it in the description below. So if you want to, if you want the build to this, I'm going to put it in the description. Uh, let's move on to packages. F Sport pack. It, okay, it comes with everything. We need to check out. Uh, it comes with everything. Next options. All right, these are the options. The 23 speaker. For twenty with twenty four, yeah. For look at the price; it's just under two grand. But and look what all you're getting. The thing is, is if you do it on the on the Mercedes to get the whatever what the Bang and Olf, not the Bang and Olfs and whatever they call it now, um, it's like four thousand or five thousand dollars. It's expensive, so that's cheap. Do I want the panoramic roof? Yeah, give it to me. That's for a thousand bones. I think this car at this price point, it's still under ninety grand. That's not bad. Uh, key gloves. See all this kind of stuff. All this kind of stuff. You, I like how the images come up like that. That's very nice. I haven't seen any other manufacturer do that. That's tight. That's tight. Um, yeah, give me that. I'll take those because they're cool. And you guys show pictures like that. You got to get the wheel locks. It's cheap security. The door edge film. Uh, I'm normally not a fan, but I think that's kind of cool. Let's do that for ninety bucks. I really don't like that. I don't like that because I can always see that. The rear bumper applique, um, I think some people need that because they scratch their stuff up. Me, I don't need that. All-weather floor liners, yep, we need that. All-weather trunk tray, yes, we need that. Do we need the carpets? Yeah, we're also going to need the carpets. We're not going to click that because we're not going to throw a price in because I want, I want the carpets and I want the other ones. I don't want carpet in the trunk. Uh, emergency assistance kit, yes, because the bag is just cool. Uh, and the first they can, uh, glass breakage sensor. What? That's not already on there. Uh, yeah. Throw it on there. Illuminated door sills. Yes. We want those. Throw that on there. The t a tablet holder. I, I think we can get by without that. All right. Let's go to summary and yeah, you can print it. And here's our summary. So this is where were we at? So the car started off at what? The car was, what was it? It was like 80. They don't even show us on the quick, do they? No, they don't. There it is. The car is 89000 The car is $89,000 all in. I they, I don't remember what it started at. Uh, somewhere around 85 all in. Uh, we've got that ex the exterior is the manganese luster. We did the Mark Levinson. We basically threw everything we wanted at it. We threw everything we wanted at it, and it's cheaper than, way cheaper than the Mercedes, okay? And it is about, oh, maybe going on $10,000 cheaper than the Cadillac CT6 Platinum that I built out. And so Lexus is throwing down. This is a lot of car worth considering. Makes me reconsider the whole ball game because this car is sporty enough. It really is. They get it. You don't need more than that horsepower, man. I mean, it's nice. The car is nice. It's nice. I'm not just saying it. All right. If you made it this far, you're awesome. 
we're done. I'm going to wrap it up. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. You have a wonderful day.